All right, here we go, sitting on my floor, because I still don't have a couch, and uh, doing some LT4. Um, so just, I want to just kind of recap uh, LT2 and 3 real quick. Um, here's LT2. That was all graphing. Um, you take your two equations, you graph them, you find where they meet, that's the solution. Um, LT3 we did in class um, and this was substitution, solving a system by substitution um, and basically what we were doing was find first the isolated variable, um, take the expression on the other side and sub it in where you see a y, then finish solving for x and find what y is. LT4 is um, solving a system of equations with elimination, um, and it's basically the the other kind of algebraic way besides uh, besides substitution that we have for solving um, a system. And so part of what we talked about with substitution was okay, you need a isolated variable. Um, we saw one example in the focus problems, and I told you not to do it, um, and that's because it didn't make sense to do with substitution with that. That would have been a problem to do with elimination. So first of all, before we write down anything else, an elimination type of problem is one where we don't have an isolated variable. In other words, maybe we have something that looks like this and we have our system of equations here, neither one is isolated. This is when we would use um, elimination. And so the goal of elimination, or why, why we use it, is to um, eliminate one variable. to solve for the other. So sometimes we'll be eliminating x, sometimes we'll be eliminating y, um, but you eliminate one variable to eventually solve for the other one. Okay. Um, the easiest way to understand that is to gonna, is going to be to just look at some examples. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's a little bit more reasonable. All right. Um, so the first example here, we've got our system of equations here. And the first thing you'll notice is that neither one is isolated for a certain variable. Um, in this example, uh, this isn't going to take a whole lot of work to eliminate one of the variables. Um, what you'll notice here is that we have a 7y in the first one and a negative 7y in the second one. That's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. And that's what we want to get in order to eliminate a variable. Because then what we do is add the two expressions together, or the two equations together, um, just like a normal addition problem. And so we'll, we'll kind of line everything up and add it all together. x plus x is 2x. What you'll notice then, and this is the eliminating part, 7y plus negative 7y makes a 0y. Okay, And over here we have an 18. This 0y, this is the thing that we wanted because now we no longer have a y. We just have 2x equals 18. And you can finish solving that x equals 9. And just like substitution, we are going to take the x, plug it back in to the original, we get, uh, whoops, instead of x we'll have a 9 plus 7y equals 13, subtract 9, subtract 9, 7y equals 4, and y equals 4 sevenths. So our solution is 9 comma 4 sevenths. Okay, so just to kind of recap that, 
Um, we had a 7y and a negative 7y. That was a good thing because then all we did when we added them was eliminate all of these y's. So the y's all dropped out. All we were left with was 2x equals 18. Divide by 2, finish solving just like you're used to, and uh, you get this solution here. Okay, But that key is the first step, getting a 7y and a negative 7y so that the y's drop out. All right, in the second one, probably the first thing that you'll see is that we don't have that. In the previous one, it was super easy. We could just add them together. Um, in this one, we don't quite have that. And so um, we'll need to do a little bit of manipulating to, to get that. Um, and so the first thing that we'll do is we need to look for um, eliminating either the P or the Q. Uh, the Q in this case is going to be easier because if you look, we have a 1Q and a 3Q. Well, all we have to do to make this eliminate the 3Q is we have to get this to be a negative 3Q. And to get that to be a negative 3Q, we need to multiply it by 3. So we're going to take the whole equation and multiply it by 3. I'm going to cross this entire thing off because we don't have that anymore. Now we have... 15p, 5 times 3 is 15, minus 1q times 3 is 3q, and 11 times 3 is 33. So we took each piece of the equation, multiplied it all by 3, and we can cross that off and get rid of it. And now we take our new equation, plus this one we had up here, and add them together. That leaves us with 17 p again we have a negative 3q and a 3q that cancel each other out that leaves us with no q's equals uh, 51 finish solving you get p equals 3 take the p and plug a 3 in where you see a p up here that gives you 2 times 3 plus 3q equals 18. 6 minus 6 on both sides you get 3q equals 12 and q equals 4. So our solution is p equals 3, q equals 4. All right. Um, there are a lot of steps to this, but just to kind of ease your mind a little bit, uh, this was new and this whole like adding them together part was new also. That's it. Those are the only new steps that we've done. All the rest of it is just solving for P, solving for Q, just like you've done billions upon trillions of times in your life, or at least lots. <laughs> so um, if you're freaking out a little bit, those are the only two new steps. So don't, don't get ahead of yourself. The next one, Again, we don't have a nice, easy 4y and negative 4y, or 2x and negative 2x. So um, we're going to need to do some moving things around and some kind of multiplying things. Um, we also don't really have a situation where we can only multiply one of them by a simple number real easy. So uh, what we can do is pick a variable. I'm going to say let's eliminate x this time because we did y the other time. So um, to eliminate x, we are going to take the first equation, multiply the whole thing by 7 times 7. We're going to take this whole thing, multiply it by 2. It's kind of like finding a common denominator because what we're going to end up with here is a 14x and a 14x. All right. Um, and I'm going to say let's make this one a negative 7. So we get a negative 14 up here and a positive 14 down here. Okay, that leaves us with negative uh, 14x uh, minus 28y equals uh, 7 times 4 is 28, negative 280. That one is now gone. This one 
multiply both by 2, we get 14x minus 6y equals 8. Okay, now add the two together. That's all the new stuff that we have for this learning target. All right, um, the only thing that's left is to kind of uh, finish solving this with just the algebra steps that you know from before. So the x's drop out, there's no x's left. We end up with a negative 34y equals, uh, that's going to be negative 272. And I don't know this off the top of my head, so calculator uh, 272 divided by 34 y equals 8. Okay, going back up to one of our original equations up here. Let's take our y equals 8, put it in for y. We get 7x, I'm going to write it somewhere else. We get 7x minus 3 times 8 is 24 equals 4, uh, 7x equals 28, x equals 4. So our solution, 4, 8. All right. Um, this, this third uh, example over here, we will do more like that um, because this this is the hardest type of problem that you'll see for elimination. Okay, um, so we will definitely get practice with this. Uh, we do have special cases, um, but I don't think I want to do them right now in the video. Uh, obviously, like hint on this, one's going to be zero, one's going to be infinite, um, but I don't want to include that we will do this uh, in class. So if you just want to put a little note on there that uh, we will finish the special cases in class. We will also do the, actually, you know what? I still want you to try the before class, okay? It's not a special case, um, so go ahead and try this one out uh, and we will we'll talk about it. We'll go over the special cases in class and we'll go over this in class as well, but I still want you to try it. Um, before class. As always, um, because this is new, um, please feel free to ask questions on the question form um, or make, make a little note to me, give me a little note that says, hey, I was good with you up until example three, totally didn't get that, um, I just need some practice, whatever. Whatever, you, whatever feedback you need to tell me um, to help me help you out, please do that. 